Jane King, presented by Lee Kossel and Feigley Attorneys at Law. Jane starts with Lily this morning. The company's selling off one of its key products to another company, Jane. That's Yes, Scott and Kylie. So Lily's selling the low blood sugar drug. It's called Boxemi for a billion dollars. The buyer is Amphistar Pharmaceuticals, which is looking to boost its portfolio of low blood sugar drugs. Now, Boxemi had worldwide sales of about $140 million last year. Well, Delta could bump even more people off flights as it looks to increase overbooking to wring out some more profits. Airlines usually use these complicated algorithms to determine how much to oversell. It's based on time of day, passenger connections, what kind of traveler is usually on the flight and more, all in order to maximize the revenue on a flight. So Delta already does this, but it's looking to do it even more as it looks for ways to squeeze more revenue out of every flight as it becomes better able to predict what passengers will actually show up. And Disney is laying off several thousand workers across the company this week in the second and largest wave of cuts. The latest round will impact ESPN, Disney's entertainment division, Disney Parks, and its experiences and product division. And Fox Corporation erased $962 million in market value yesterday after announcing Tucker Carlson would depart Fox News. Now, Fox Corporation's stock fell as much as 5%, but it closed down 3%. Tucker Carlson has consistently had one of the most watched news shows on cable TV. Media analysts say in the near term, the financial impact will be minimal because advertisers book their slots in advance. But if ratings would crater, there could be an issue for the company. Well, the Nasdaq did close lower as Investors prepare for big tech earnings. We get those later today when Alphabet and Microsoft report after the closing bell. And ahead of that, we are pointing lower. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King.